So, let me get this. So, you had just finished your wedding. You're taking some photos. Cindy, how'd you find out somebody was drowning? Well, we were actually wrapping up with the photographer, and um, just him and I were kind of talking amongst each other, and all of a sudden, this young lady came up to us, and she mentioned that somebody was in the water, and it looked like they were struggling to come back um, to shore. Immediately, I looked at Zach and just told him, I was like, you gotta go, and... <laughs> I took my shirt off as fast as I could, went to take my pants off, and she was like, no, you don't have time, so I just... <laughs> which I kind of wish I did, <laughs> but um, I just ran out and dove into the water. What was, what's your background? So I'm in the Coast Guard, um, and I was also a, a swim instructor at boot camp and a lifeguard for many years, so I'd teach recruits how to swim. Okay, so what happened once you got in the water and you reached this, this So kid? on the way out, two other uh, young adults were headed out with um, boogie boards, and I didn't want it to turn into a multiple rescue attempt, you know, more people going out there, because that happens all the time. People go to help people, and then two people drown. So I told one of the people, I was like, you go back and give me your boogie board. So he unstrapped it. I started getting closer to the young man. I could hear him saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. So I knew he didn't have much more time because he was being pulled out. I was able to um, finally get to him and able to put his back against my chest. And he had a boogie board someone had given him, which is why he had drifted out so far. He wasn't swimming, he was floating kind of. Um, so I was able to take the boogie board I had and slide underneath his and kind of start as you like you would a kid in the pool. And, Made about halfway back in. The rip current kind of stopped us making progress. Um, oh, that was a current. It was a very bad rip current that day. That's what I was going to ask, because yes. what kept pulling him out? He probably started at like 70 yards, 67 yards. By the time I got to him, he was well over 120 probably. He was just getting sucked out. That's what the rip currents do, and they just completely take you out to see. And some people, they don't understand. Well, even the best swimmers had the hard time. You know, it was a red flag day. People shouldn't really have been past knee deep. So we made about halfway back in, and we just kind of waited it out, and they finally came up with the jet ski and sled. So I was able to grab the handle on one side and kind of put him up on it and wedge him between myself and the sled and then hold on to the handle and the other and just pull him, and I said, go. And it was everything I could do to hold on. And I'm a fairly big guy, but they were pulling, you know, I guess because the waves were so bad. We kind of pulled up to the beach. You know, I kind of rolled off and let the first responders um, take care of him, and I get up, I'm bleeding from the nose, so... Oh, oh, when they were pulling you, right. your face was bouncing yeah, on the I was, because I was just trying to hold on. So you done busted yourself up. <laughs> right, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so, but she came running out in the water, and, and this wedding dress was a whole nother story. Um, my first thought was back to the wedding. I was like, no, get away, don't get your dress wet. You know, I have blood, I don't want to get blood on it. Yeah. I said, get out of the water, go, go. Um, but she didn't really listen a whole lot. Well, of course not. <laughs> I mean, we just got married, and I didn't think it through. Let me ask you this. This is your wedding day. Mm -hmm. How'd you feel to see your husband out there? He was, he was really risking his life. It didn't hit me until I noticed that they were having a difficult time coming back in. <clears throat> and um, I knew, I was like, I know he's getting tired. He's got those pants on, he's weighed down. And you could just tell he was exhausted, but he just kept fighting it and fighting it, trying to get the boy back. Zach, have you heard from the young man that you saw? I have. Um, um, he called me and said, you know, thank you for saving my life. You know, um, he was very thankful. His mother's very thankful. Very kind-hearted young man. Um, you know, very happy that this happened. Did you guys go on the honeymoon right after that? We came to see you. This, <laughs> this is our honeymoon. honeymoon. Yeah. Oh, this is the honeymoon. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you know, we were Steve. I didn't know you didn't have a honeymoon, but I, I think we could fix that part right there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, this is how we're gonna fix that. Uh, I am sending you guys on a five-night luxury included vacation to any Sandals Resort. Any Sandals Resort, you pick the one you want to go to, oh I'm going to send you that. You get to choose from one oh of 16 God. Caribbean locations. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. Stay in the love nest suite, oh complete God. with the butler, the elite <laughs> service. You can enjoy gorgeous oh. beaches, unlimited oh. five-star. <laughs> Whichever one you pick, you're gonna enjoy some gorgeous beaches, some unlimited five-star gourmet dining, some exciting water sports, and a whole lot more. The world needs more heroes like Zach and Cindy. We really do. And man, what a great story, man. Wow. Great job, man. Thank, Thank y'all so, so much. Thank you for Have a good time, too. Thank hey, you. listen, uh, enjoy yourself. The world would be a lot better place if we had more people like you. Yeah. Drop everything, go. 
Hey, I'm Steve Harvey. You want more of that? Well, don't just sit there. Go get it. Press subscribe or click on this list and you can see all the amazing videos you want. Press it. Press it.